fifty only because it's a small letter. Maybe yeah. if you go to Agri yeah, Asia, but yeah, of course, but because if you people buy to from buy there, it's from it's come and actually retail elsewhere. Exactly. The, the the tomatoes that one it goes up and comes down mm. sometimes you're not sure why so yesterday for instance they were selling that bucket for 30 ghana cities at malata but okro you can get three one two three for one city okro mm. bottled water bottled water it's gone up everything is gone. Yeah. yeah but you see this is the point this is the point if i am selling and i make a living by selling say tomatoes because my expenditure is increased what is my source of revenue? My source of revenue is sales from the tomatoes. Yeah. So I need to increase my revenue source, which is the sale of the tomato, in order to be able to meet my expenditure. It is that simple. So if I have to do that, I would increase it. And so while we're talking about arresting inflation and all, and while we're increasing policy rates and all, which hasn't really yielded the kind of results we expected it to yield, Yeah, we would see a situation where today, and we're having a conversation of a Raymond, where banks are calling uh, people with loans to say we are going to increase your interest, interest payments. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, mm. yes mm. because mm. Uh, Ebenezer Sabote was shocked. Mm. And told, yeah, because that's what is happening. Uh, even with the fixed rates, well, you know, they're telling you that. Hey. They say it's subject to review. Yeah, that's yeah that's it's it. true. It, it, I mean, yeah. that's what we sign, actually. Yes, it's, it's subject to review. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you sign, but you're not hoping yeah, that... Nobody will it, actually read that print. Well, well, in well, the past, that's like something that would hardly happen. Yeah, because you think that, I mean... In the past, even when it's happened sometimes, the bank would waive it. But watch this. The time a lot of people went for their loans, it was around 13.5% policy rate. Yeah. Uh, 22%. Hmm. That's it's true. almost a 100% increase. You know, the banks won't sit down and watch it go like that. Because they need money to go and buy treasury bonds. Uh, exactly. And treasury bills are better than uh, giving money to the ordinary business person or the ordinary person. No, guys, we have to look at this issue uh, well, more extensively. We have okay. to. We have to. We have to. I don't know if it's just me with the red oil and the Gary. Gary, Gary is now 15 CDs. Gary is now 15 CDs. You guys don't go to the market, so you may not know. Oh, you see, the, 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 the truth is that... But our monies go to the market. Yes, our monies go to the market. And, and, and just as Baumia said some time ago, you know, these days, when they go to the market and they come, they frown. Yeah. You see, they frown because... Because their trouble is small, so we can't see their conversation. Wait, wait, we have to return to this. We have to return to this. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's not the trouble. Sometimes they add their money. Uh -huh. But they can't come and tell you. <laughs> yeah, so the, the thing is not... You see, the economy is not going well. Weston, you know too much. Let's, <laughs> let's do the Drive Safe campaign. <laughs> Our Drive Safe campaign is brought to you by Joy News and Multimedia Group, supported by Toyota Ghana Company Limited, Toyota Superior Quality, and Imperial General Assurance Solid Protection. So use your signals properly. It is important to use your signals, even if you think that nobody is there always use the signal to ensure others know what you are going to do and not signal when you're just about to make a move mm -hmm. yeah. very important <laughs> let's learn how to say it right it's brought to us by kingdom books at kingdom quality and affordability are their hallmarks something must be done you say either i say either you say me. pop quiz do these two words have the same meaning? Imply and infer. The answer is no. To imply means to hint at something without actually saying it. Here's an example. By recounting stories from 1983, Sami implied that he was over 40 years old. To infer means to make a deduction from something that was not stated categorically. For example, I inferred from his stories about the year 1983 that Sami must be over 40 years old. Here's a simple way to explain it. The speaker implies and the listener infers. And now we all know how to say it right. Right, so that's how to say it, right? And before we get into the newspaper review, I mean, I, I started by saying that a lot of people sign on to the standardized loan agreements. Yeah. The rate is subject to review. <laughs> yes, yes, mm. that's true. And the hope was that it was never going to be subject mm -hmm. to review. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when the rate even increases, they look at the margin of increase and yeah. they waive it. 
But now, because the margin of increase is huge, the banks are calling the people and they're telling them. Somebody said he was paying 2,000 Ghana cities. The last night he checked, 2,500. I, because I don't know anybody hey, who, who, who goes yeah. for a very personal loan unless he needs the money urgently. True. And he really has to rely on the money. You have to do it for rent and for big things. Now, imagine you think about it too. Now, you hope that by the time the next rent is due, the next repayment is due, you would have been able to not only pay the previous loan, but raise mm-hmm. enough money to go and rent, which will be a year or two later. Now, they have increased that thing. You have to raise more money to clear the loan before you can get money to go and rent again. The repayment is a plan. Ah, so imagine bah. if you're paying two thousand, can't you believe and it? You now have or to pay two thousand five hundred. Wow! And you spent how much on fuel? <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> uh, you know, these days I record the amount uh, of fuel see, I buy with the point, liters. Then uh-huh. I calculate yeah. the liters by the per liter that we yeah. show on the, the yeah, board. To check to, to your whether it's very accurate. Right mostly, see, that's that's when you don't have a lot of money. Yeah, if, yeah. Most people with money they don't do that. I am it's living a very in the budget. You know, you know in the past, <laughs> no, no, you see, in the past we used to say that it's only in January mm. that you see Tia Roba, yeah. Mercedes Benz buying, taking his change. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Normally it's in January yeah. that they take change. Uh-huh. But now, uh, oh, take it. Uh, if you say I'll send mobile, eh? I'll send mobile. Yeah, send mobile. Send, like, just a about. Yeah, there's no change. Yeah, no, nobody's going to add any charges. We say, yeah, please. I used to go and they don't bring me my change. Yeah. Now I pay by mobile. Yeah, yeah, so that we don't have that conversation yeah. with so the person again. Strategically, I buy with a card. Uh, I see. <laughs> no, look, uh, I mean, we, we may be laughing about this, but one of the things I'd love to find out from you is your rate of inflation. And I say yeah. your rate of inflation because, yes, we are talking about the national average. Yeah. But you have your own rate of inflation. That's true. Okay. What you buy. How much more are you coughing up for the things you buy? Exactly. Join us on Twitter. Use the hashtag JoySMS. Later on in the show, we'll activate the phone lines. I, I mean, I want to hear from people. Now that the Bank of Ghana, uh, MPC, is going to meet again. The yeah. Monetary Policy Committee is going to be meeting. Mm. They should be hearing from Ghanaians. To be fair, I think that this has moved beyond the terrain of the Bank of Ghana. They've done the plenty of things they can do. I'm not sure this problem they can solve it. This one, it's now in the foray of cabinet. What really do they want the Ghanaian people to do? How much suffering can they endure? Mm. And for what period? That's the kind of conversation we should be having. So a friend just sent me this. Um, and he says that he's paying over 500 CDs in addition to his existing repayment amount. Talking about the loans. Oh, so it's not only one person. Yeah, says it's not yeah. easy, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not easy. Look, anyway. Look, um, we're going to have to continue yes. i will come back i see already i have i've seen some uh, people that i know from the bank of ghana responding and saying yeah. they want to see copies of those agreements yeah um, mm, yes the loan agreements yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah, yeah, yeah. yes but those things that they write you know the writings are really small we and often them. your money i mean your eye is on the the money that you're, you're getting looking for money to go and pay rent but i would just be reading five so prints yeah really you're just yeah. Yeah. Like, oh it's okay yes and yes. you you believe the word of the 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 executive who did the, the deal. Nice then you, you, to you. you please are you sure it is fixed is it 20 <laughs> percent then he says yes <laughs> he says, okay you sign you go i'm not sure it. people even ask that question anyway they just know that it's an interest rate there anyway all right so let's get to our newspaper review yes brought to us by is brought to us by Milo Energy to go further and Enterprise Life's Family Income Security Plan Enterprise, your advantage. Now, the Ghanaian Times is reporting this morning, fair word, Queen Elizabeth II, and uh, world leaders pay last respect as she journeys home. That's on the front page of the paper. Well, that story is also in the Daily Graphic newspaper. I think it's the precision, even though this was a staged production. People just loved watching it on television. We did as well. Cabinet approves policy for housing authority and Ghana card for Ghanaians abroad, says the NIA. Yeah. Well, let's get to the chronicle for this morning. Oh, you have a story at the back page? Uh, Meteor warns of minor rainfall September to November. So get ready. Yeah, it was so drizzling when I was driving. Experience yeah. more of what we are even experiencing Yesterday today. Yesterday was raining in the morning. But um, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 12. For it is disgraceful even to speak of the things which are done by them in secret. The chronicle for this morning. Chief allegedly leads Galamse in Ashanti region. And talks about Nana Chumisi Ampofo, the caretaker chief Odikru of Jinimuhu, a farming community in Afwano South District in Ashanti region, is said to be neck deep in Galamse operations in the community. And the Odikru, who is also known as Kofi Jeff, 
claims he has the backing of the overlord in the area is accused of fronting for illegal miners and thus taking off farmlands belonging to individuals for mining purposes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll come back to this. Illegal mining is an existential threat to Ghana. NPA swoops on another fuel station. A goal assures consumers of value for money. And Minerals Commission establishes database for recruitment of Ghanaians. And um, that's it for the Chronicle. The Daily Guide is reporting this morning. World Bank pledges $600 million for Ghana. RTI commission to prosecute defaulters and pension scheme for 664,529 farmers. There's one suspect who's been nabbed in the war murders. You know, there's uh, an RTI to, is it a council of states? Where they directed, they directed the person to Metro TV because they had shared the information with Metro TV. <laughs> okay, there's a story I missed on the back page of the Daily Graphic. Cocoa Board closes down BH Fet Agro Company over smuggling. But the Economy Times policy rate to rise further, and I thought the IEA was cautioning and asking that perhaps the rate will remain at 22 yeah. percent. Okay, well, <laughs> we, we don't know yet what the Bank of Ghana's decision would be. But Treasury bills now selling at 31%. If you're looking for investment opportunities, right? Mm, maybe. Mm. Yeah. All right, passengers to spend 30% more on transport fares, effective September 21. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, no work. Cool. Anyway, the graphic business is reporting this morning. Major drivers of August inflation. Food and non-alcoholic beverage, 34%. Housing, water, electricity, gas, and other fuel, 46%. Transport, 45%. So so, so, so we are clear. It used to be transport what, most of the time. Mm. But housing, water, electricity, gas, and other fuels, 46.7%. Slightly overtaking transport mm. as major contributor. But look at the elements in there. Other fuels. Uh, yeah. I mean, if fuel is here, and, yeah. and it's basically on the same path anyway by electricity housing water but electricity still, yeah the increase started on the first of september yeah okay mm -hmm. that's the I increase in the rate started yeah. on the first of september yeah so the rate so it, it's the not part of this, it's not part of this yeah the inflation so if, for september mm -hmm. would really show the impact of all this. things being equal maybe higher than this way higher because of your of course even without it is now contributing number one then personal care and others are recreation and sports then finishing all part of the major contributors to inflation. BOG to stay policy rate despite rising inflation. So, um, the contrary. economic times and the biz graphic business <laughs> really are on different points. But I, I, I am with graphic business on this matter. Yeah, this you, this you increases. Support. It doesn't go anywhere. It's That's the one that works for you. Well, <laughs> 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 Let's get to the finder this morning. And the finder says NPA security agencies rate illegal cylinder refurbishing facility. Akufuad among world leaders at Queen Elizabeth's funeral. Cocoa should focus to domestic consumption, prioritize value addition to stop export of raw beans. And don't appoint people without integrity to public office, Apostle Kumi Labi. And please arrest key suspect in war killing as IGP meets Wana. We can go online. Yes, uh, brought to us by Zenith Bank in your best interest. Goyle Good Energy and Eden Heights Luxury has a new destination and Bigo Drink. And Goyle, your oil marketing company of choice, keeps making life ever so convenient. Goyle now accepts Momo for all fuel purchases at key selected stations. Just remember to Momo it at Goyle. That's not all. You can also use your bank card to buy fuel at Goyle. And this is made possible by APSA. Drive to Goyle stations now, buy your fuel, pay by Momo or a bank card, and you're good to go. Visit Goyle social media platforms on Facebook is Goyle.official. Instagram is Goyle underscore GH and Twitter Goyle underscore official. Get more information on the service stations you can conveniently use. Momo Goyle, good energy. Goyle, ya ye dim. Let's get to myjawonline.com this morning. And no party official gets paid. It's voluntary service. NDC is a free Yankra. Well, I do know that in the NPP, the general secretary is paid. Uh, they must be paid. This is general nothing secretary to be proud a full time job, general yeah. secretary. So, uh, That's when you get people paid. to be dedicated to the cause. Okay, let's get to citynewsroom.com. Government has lost control. Not. Or has not lost control of Galamse fight. Government has not lost control of Galamse fight. That's uh, Seth Kwame Champong, the Eastern Region Minister. So he says government has not 
lost control uh, of the fight against illegal mining. And let's get to CNN and find out what's there. Uh, village in Luhansk region liberated, Ukraine says, uh, Raymond, it's looking like Russia. Uh, Ukraine is, uh, you know, uh, recapturing a lot of the towns that uh, Russia captured earlier. They're taking back their towns. Yes, but this only means that it will go on for a longer period. I actually think what leaders should go and beg Russia. And now it's become an ego trip. I mean, yeah, because less, Putin, yeah. Putin has just said, uh, I think just yesterday that, uh, they have to end this as yeah, soon as possible. There's, there's, because, you see, the economic devastation for them as countries and maybe the rest of the world is also huge. So we should all sit and agree that you, 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 you are sorry. Just let go, It okay? is even worse for Ghana, so maybe we can no, start. No, 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 no. Okay, let's get to the BBC don't, don't, news don't now. Don't go there, don't Brought go to there. us by Fidelity Bank, the lead.